All right, everyone, it's time to talk about the Trump wall again, because uh, right now that's what Trump is really talking about. Now, a lot of people, some people were, I think, didn't understand what was going on, and others were actually trying to shill and tell the difference. And they were saying, oh, Trump has abandoned the wall plan. He's going to leave the border unprotected. And what I said a couple weeks ago is it's not Trump that abandoned the issue. He formulated the rough cost, formulated what would need to be cut in its place. Now, I, I don't agree with the Coast Guard cut that he proposed. The other cuts, yeah, I, I would have doubled them, uh, doubled them down. I think it was uh, some combination of like the, the EPA and some of these other groups. Um, yeah, yeah, you should cut those. In fact, you should just get rid of those bureaus because they don't do anything. The EPA doesn't protect the environment. Homeland Security doesn't protect the homeland. The NSA is not intelligent. Why do we even fund these things? Not really necessary. They become sacred cows because they employ a lot of people. But regardless of how he pays for it, I believe the wall in some form will end up built. Whether it's just a mild upgrade or a continuation of the fencing that's already there, or whether it's a more imposing structure, doesn't really make that much of a difference. You can use the whole like surveillance drones and sensors thing, and as long as you properly snap it and allow the border agents to do their job, that largely takes care of the issue. The idea that you need a hundred foot tall concrete barrier is a little bit out there, although he could build such a thing. One of the plans called uh, for slapping solar panels on it and having like a high speed, like a bullet train riding on top of it, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. That'd, that'd be a, a true marvel. But regardless, it's not Trump that backed off of this plan. Um, the relatively small amount apparently required to build the kind of wall that he ended up suggesting is, is peanuts compared to the federal budget. It's actually a very, very small amount. If it ends up costing twice that much, it would still pay off long term because it solves one end of the immigration problem, that is slowing down the flow of people that are trying to get in in the first place, therefore you don't have the problem of millions of people here illegally in the first place. But congressional Republicans are almost as reluctant to fund the wall as the Democrats. Pelosi comes out and says, oh, a wall is never the solution. That's funny, it's worked throughout human history before. It's like, why did people build walls? Oh, I think there was a reason why. It seems that, uh, generally speaking, they work. The idea that the average illegal immigrant would be is really going to tunnel under the border is, is a little bit out there. Yeah, you'll, you'll have problems with people trying to conduct incursions, whether it's a fence, a uh, steel, you know, sort of ribbed barrier or something, or whether it's a big-ass concrete wall that goes 20 feet into the ground. You're going to have people that try to come through it. Therefore, you have border agents. Typically, they're able to do their job if they're allowed to do so. The real problem is under Obama, a lot of times they weren't. You had moments under Obama where there were actually very virulent mass deportations going on, uh, while at the same time he was proclaiming that he wanted blanket amnesty for a lot of people, and he tried to impose that, and the Supreme Court shot him down, if you remember correctly. Uh, there were times when there were deportations of people that uh, weren't under the DREAM Act or anything like that. They were just, you know, routine illegal immigrants. While Obama said, oh, well, we need to be kind and, and merciful, and then instructed the agents not to actually do their job, it's sort of like catch and release. And that policy has ended. Getting rid of catch and release uh, alone solves part of the issue. But the Democrats don't want to fund the border wall because of ideological reasons. And the Republicans, some of them don't want to fund it because they either they don't agree with what's being cut in its place, or they don't want to spend any more money, even if there's a payoff, or there may be a vulnerable Republican in a district where there are, you know, potentially a lot of immigrant communities, and they don't want to get shafted. Regardless, though, they need to close ranks and get this accomplished. If they don't want... The, the, the vulnerable Republicans should definitely vote for it, because they're going to be a hell of a lot more vulnerable if one of the main campaign promises that's going to buoy the party up get scrapped because of congressional Republicans. Trump will do a 180, and he'll start attacking his own party, and I wouldn't blame him for doing so. He'll call the people out <laughs> by name, and you're not going to get reelected. You're either going to have to run against, oh, well, yeah, I voted to fund the wall, 
because whatever reasons and it may or may not work very very well right off the bat it'll take a few years to complete or you're gonna have to run against the US president from your own party that's not gonna look very good that's what that's what will collapse party support come the midterm so they should close ranks most definitely those that are worried about what's being cut to pay for it shouldn't really worry too much because Trump has already showed a willingness to negotiate on what gets cut so I mean it doesn't even really matter he's coming out with his tax proposals too uh, I would add at the same time some of that'll be corporate heavy yeah however at the same time if it can help small businesses if there's any help to the middle class whatsoever still a victory for Trump by the way if he throws any relief to the middle class yeah it's a victory for him because a huge say though that rust belt middle class that had to take double shift at Wendy's because the Obama recovery passed him by they're gonna love Trump after that you have another million people voting for him next time around just within that region it's gonna be great for his electoral chances midterm Republicans will probably uh, keep holding the Senate just on that token you'll even get <clears throat> some minority support on that by the way it's not all gonna be white uh, former Democrat sort of labor union members from the Rust Belt that decide to solidify into the Republican Party if you're giving people tax relief taking less of people's money is usually fairly popular Trump has the right idea I can't imagine a single congressional Republican would be dumb enough to stand in the way of a tax cut even if it is top heavy if it's giving some relief to the middle class and to small businesses and preferably I would like to see yeah maybe the self-employed that would be just wonderful that would certainly make me vote for Trump the next time he runs it'd be a wonderful thing but on the wall it's not Trump that abandoned it some congressional Republicans are reluctant to fund it, it has nothing to do with anything Trump did it's like the uh, it's like uh, the the other plans that he made for a, a temporary freeze on immigration from certain areas or on refugees courts federal courts have said oh it's unconstitutional you can't do this now their actual legal argument is pretty bad as in if it went to the Supreme Court especially with Gorsuch there the federal courts would probably lose but it's gonna be a long time coming to get that case through to the Supreme Court it's going to be difficult for Trump to get it there in order to gain his victory so that's basically he's not gonna bother doing it a third time why would he bother it be like uh, suicidal it's clear some of the federal courts that are progressive heavy will stand in his way no matter how mild that temporary freeze happens to be they will stand in his way he has to wait till it goes to the Supreme Court on that and on the wall it is not Trump's fault that things have been delayed and by the way he has still hasn't even been in office half a year he's he's not even a quarter of a way through the first half of his first term you expect him to have given you the moon on this on a stick by now he's not capable of doing that he's capable of saying I'm going to build a wall Mexico will pay for it I'm going to freeze immigration but as for the rest of the political process it requires that at least the people backing him fall into line on funding the wall it requires that the courts uh, uh, that the Supreme Court takes up the issue of his attempted immigration freeze in order to allow him to do that overrule the federal courts that have weighed in now twice he has to wait for their action on that right now his big focus should be try to negotiate with the rest of the GOP Senate and get the wall funded begin building the wall whatever form it takes yes it should be built counterbalance it with cuts in some federal agency doesn't really matter take your pick they're all overfunded for the most part anyway so yeah th there you go tax relief make sure the middle class <clears throat> doesn't end up getting like a pittance in comparison to corporate groups because if corporations and I mean uh, when the left says oh Trump's tax cuts are gonna help corporations you gotta realize a lot of the big corporations don't pay any taxes so they're not they don't care what form the tax break takes if you give relief to the top at least some of that relief is going towards people that are entrepreneurs and on the the upper side of income for entrepreneurs to larger like maybe regional businesses but not multinational as well as to people that are just you know rather wealthy you know the brain surgeon or the doctor or something now I don't begrudge them tax relief I think everyone in the country should pay less taxes 
I don't think there should even be a payroll tax on the poor. We should be massively slashing bureaucratic spending. We should slash it by 50% and reduce people's taxes by 20 or 30 across the board. Simplify the tax code. You get more money back from the multinational corporations that use loopholes to pay essentially zero. That's what we should be doing. There's no reason that anyone should pay more than a 20% tax rate in this country, no matter how much money they're making. By the way, a lot of those corporations don't even pay that much. They, they would end up being, uh, paying more money under a simplified tax code than all the small businesses combined. They get tax relief, the corporations pay their fair share, there's real capitalism, an even keel for those businesses, an even keel for people that are competing to use their labor for pro uh, productive purposes. It's just a good idea. And no, if somebody's already poor, they shouldn't have to pay a payroll tax. Who fucking cares? Slash a couple of these bureaucratic entities in the, in the place of getting rid of that. It's that expensive to maintain the bureaucracy in this country. Yeah, the military, we should have a spending freeze there too, and there should be more competition. It's easy to pay for the Trump wall. It's easy to pay for the tax cuts. It's just a matter of having the wherewithal to begin slashing and burning some of these bureaucracies to the ground. You could eliminate some of them. You can cut all of them, at least slightly. You can cut some of them a whole lot because there's so much overlap. You know, five or six agencies doing the same fucking thing. They stand in each other's way, strangulate each other anyway. Well, eliminate four of them. Wouldn't that be a great idea? I think it would be. Don't blame Trump for not getting the wall built already. It's going to take years even once it gets funded. It probably will. It's just a matter of how long does it take him to shake his head in awe at how the congressional Republicans are going to stand in the way of one of the most popular fucking proposals that Trump made in the first place. He saved your goddamn party, you do realize that. You would have suffered so badly if you had put, like, Ted Cruz or Marco Rubio. Yeah, they would have lost. You would have lost the Senate. It'd be a continuation four more years of Obama policies, only worse, because it'd be a Clinton. The Clintons are worse than almost anybody. It'd be terrible. Yeah, you, you should be sucking Trump off right now, honest, in all honesty. His, his tweet storms and charisma won you the election. What part of that don't you understand? No other Republican was doing that. Or I should say the only other was Rand, and, and you considered him a joke and didn't take him seriously. Well, that was your fault. So now you have to deal with Trump. Well, then actually deal with him. As in, don't stand in the way of everything he wants to do. He wanted a wall. A lot of his, his core fans wanted a wall. Some of the centrists want a wall. Most people, unless they're social justice warriors, they don't particularly have a problem with the idea of a border defense system. And it's not going to cost that much. What was it, $29 billion? It sounds like a lot until you compare it to the overall federal budget. Yeah, just slash a couple bureaucracies. It evens out. The wall's going to be, you know, more fruitful for us than those agencies, probably. Why not just can the EPA and the Department of Education and the NSA and the TSA and all this other crap, the ATF, these worthless groups that do little or nothing and violate people's rights typically on a day-to-day -day basis. Get rid of them or massively slash them. Put the genie back in the bottle, return them to a very limited use and one that they can actually perform well because they know what they're doing. They don't have 10,000 pages of regulations that they have to enforce. Give them one volume of material that they can enforce cut half the staff, freeze their pay, get rid of some of their offices, sell, sell those off, privatize those, be a great time. Country would be much, much better off with private individuals performing most of those functions and the rest not being performed honestly at all. So yeah, I, I don't have a problem with the Trump wall and it probably will get built, but you can't blame Trump for it not being built yet. Rome wasn't built in a day. You're talking about building a fairly significant border system. It's going to take a while. That's about all. Peace out.